President Reagan, stuck on the sidelines during the battle to succeed him, chose to ignore politics for an exercise in pure nostalgia at the University of Notre Dame, the setting for a memorable role during his acting career. Go and get a uniform report to the scrubs. Why? Because I think you'd make a football player. I doubt it. Try it anyway. All right, if you insist. Now, wait a minute. What's your name? Kip. George Kip. That portrayal of George Gipp earned Ronald Reagan a lifelong nickname and a lifelong affinity to Notre Dame and its legendary football coach, Knut Rockne, honored today with a commemorative stamp. Rockne exemplified the American spirit of never giving up. That spirit's the reason why you and your generation are going to succeed. For Ronald Reagan, today's event was a celebration of the America he knows best, a land where myth and reality mix easily and where the line between them is often blurred. Ronald Reagan <laughs> no. lives in a world, as well as world reality, in a world of legend and myth. He's very happy there. For Ronald Reagan, there is no argument about whether life imitates art. It always has. As with these famous lines from the Rockne film, he's perfectly comfortable mixing political present with cinematic past. Sometime when the team is up against it, and the brakes are beating the boys, tell them to go out there with all they've got and win just one for the gibbet. Even if he does occasionally misread the name. Bill Plant, CBS News, South Bend.